Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another, well, you know, 10 Care Tuesday episode. So, we're going to do some green light today. I got a ton of these green light that I just needed to open. So, why not make a 10 Care Tuesday episode and go ahead and, you know, open them. So, <clears throat> starting with this one here, this is the green light chrome edition Miho exclusive BRE 2019 uh, 370Z. This is limited to 2,750 pieces. Very, very low amount of quantity for a green light piece. Uh, there is a chase of this. This is not the chase. The chase is limited to 250 pieces. I will tell you, I don't think that this Chrome Edition series was super successful from green light. Um, mainly because I think they were expensive. They're just chrome painted versions of green light cars. And, um, I think they kind of flopped. Maybe I'm wrong in saying that, but uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, hobby dealers and stuff ended up having to kind of blow these out at below the suggested retail price from M&J. So, copyright date 2020 on this one. Um, and I think it did come out right uh, during 2020. Um, there's been a couple of different Chrome Edition limited pieces. This one might have been more successful than some others, but... Let's go ahead and just open it up. Uh, Tooling-wise, I think Greenlight did an okay job on this Nissan. Of course, it would have been a lot better had they done some inserted details for the headlights and taillights instead of just had them painted on. Um, it's a BRE, so Brock Racing Enterprises. So, of course... Um, you know, that alone probably made it somewhat popular. It's the new Z, newer Z, so I don't know if that's terribly popular. Um, let's see if we can get a look here. Uh, tooling number is 180, in case you care about that. I certainly do sometimes. It looks like the number is 263 on the bottom of this one. Um, not bad. They did a do some details here for the uh, side mirrors that's decent rolls pretty good quality control seems pretty decent which it should be because I think these things <clears throat> I want to say these things originally retail for like $19.99 something like that which I think for most people was a little expensive uh, for a green light piece but you guys let me know in the comments down below did you guys pick this one up or not I did, but only because a hobby dealer was blowing them out at my local meet, and uh, that's why I grabbed it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it, but I got this thing cheap. All right, so there's number one of ten for today. Um, let's stick with kind of a metallic reddish flavor here. In this 2017 Ford GT, this is a recent release of Barrett-Jackson Series 6, um, the world's greatest car auctions. 2017 Ford GT. I love the Barrett Jackson series from Greenlight. It is one of my favorite, <clears throat> and the reason is because these are real cars that actually sold at auction, or you know, models of the real cars. Obviously, uh, this sold for one million four hundred eighty-five thousand dollars. Scottsdale 2020. That's insanity. I don't know why this thing. Why did this thing go for over almost a million and a half dollars? <clears throat> Just a crazy car. Definitely cool. Um, so this one, uh, I believe, came out just this last year, 2021. And, of course, Series 6. We'll go ahead and open it up and take a peek at it. Uh, I love this tooling from Greenlight. I think they did a great job on the tooling. It was the best one that you could get out there of this current model uh, for GT. Until, of course, Mini GT put theirs out. So, so sorry, Greenlight, but... Uh, You've been trumped by Mini GT, and honestly, the Mini GT is not all that expensive, but they made basically a perfect example of this car in 164 scale, or at least the best that has come out so far that I'm aware of. Um, but, of course, price point-wise, you know, this this is less expensive. These are like six bucks. Uh, the way these are constructed, though, these are definitely hit or miss quality control-wise. The color looks good. It's a good example of this car. That's kind of why I picked it up, is because of the color. We got kind of a wonky axle in the back. 
Uh, that's too bad. Uh, this one is serial number 3353, tooling number is 127. Pretty basic base here. I still stand by it though. They did do a pretty good job on this tooling. So it's, it's a lot to to put together, um, especially you know with the gap there and all that stuff. This is like a plastic piece right here, so it's not all metal. You can see the gap right here. That's not too good. But if you get a really good example of this casting um, with perfect quality control, it's a really nice tooling. Uh, so there's that one. All right, <clears throat> number. Three. We got the 1995 Ford Escort RS Cosworth, and this is in the running on empty series 12. This is a, I think, the most one of the more recent series of running on empty. Copyright date 2020. Let's see what else was in the series here. Uh, this is definitely the best one I think that was in the series, and I believe it's probably um, the replica of. Uh, real actual STP livery on one of these cars. It might be. <clears throat> and uh, I just love this casting. This is another, this is a tooling that Greenlight just knocked it out of the park on. I'm so glad they decided to do it. Um, it's got lots of nice details. This one has an opening hood with detailed uh, motor. I just think Greenlight did a fantastic job on this tooling. Um, very, very good. And this is a pretty cool example of it as well. Good quality control. The wheels look good. Uh, serial number 40, 4650. Uh, the tooling number, I think it's like 189. Yeah. So, the reason why we look at tooling numbers, by the way, uh, is basically if you're not familiar with Greenlight all that much, the tooling numbers are sequential for when Greenlight first started. So, you know, you can kind of get an idea of how old the tooling is by what the tooling number is. <clears throat> of course, you could also get an idea of it probably by looking at the copyright date too, but pretty cool there. So that's definitely a cool one. I definitely had to pick it up. And I don't know, I may get every single example of this tooling that they put out because I just like the tooling so much. It's just, it's definitely a winner. All right. Um, let's see. What should we look at next? Uh, let's go to Hobby Shop Series. So this is Hobby Shop Series 11, and I think it's a pretty recent series of Hobby Shop as well. I think all these green light that we're looking at today are pretty recent. So yeah, copyright date 2021. It just came out last year. Uh, this is the 65 Lincoln Continental with woman in a dress. They put her out a lot of times. Um a woman in a dress. The Hobby Shop series is a neat series from Greenlight as well. I am a fan of it. Um, this, they usually put some pretty nice looking uh, stock cars in it. Stock looking cars. And then you do get an accessory. You get a little diorama figure or sometimes you get wheels. I think we got another Hobby Shop uh, one coming up here. We'll look at that one next. That one has wheels with it. And I picked this up because I don't think I had an example of this actual tooling in my collection. Um, it's tooling number 117, serial number 3577. It is the Lincoln Continental. And it's in kind of a forest green, very dark green. Yeah, with a... Uh, tan top and of course this comes in both varieties a converted uh, top down and top up let's see if we can get the hood open on this one it opens like that right suicide hood <clears throat> lol um, not much detail there just black looks all right though not a bad casting I don't think they put it out too many times either Hence why I don't think I have an example of it yet. I think I've got a convertible, or the top-down version of it, but I think I needed the top-up version, so that's why I picked up this one. I'm not sure if there's like a hard-top version of it or not. I don't know for sure. But it's a pretty cool car. I think they did a pretty decent job on the tooling. And yeah, they just haven't put it out, I don't think, a whole lot. 
So I had to pick up this one in green. I think that's a pretty desirable one to get. Looks nice. Of course, black is probably the most appropriate color for this car, but pretty cool. <coughs> All right, uh, let's do the other hobby shop release one. I've got this one here. This is 2021 Chevy Tahoe with spare tires. So you do get extra set of tires. The rims are slightly different on these tires too. More of an open spoked rim and they're chrome. These are silver like that Y spoke look. And again, this is, I think it's from the same series, right? Series 11. So let's open it. I'm not gonna get the wheels out of there. I'll leave those in there for right now. I do save all those wheels. Someday I'll do something with them, customize something, I don't know. But we'll save those, set them aside. I'll s I saved the woman in the dress too. I put her in a little, box that I've got with all the other little diorama figures from Greenlight that I've accumulated over the years. This was a brand new tooling, I believe, for 2021. Yeah, it's even got a 2021 copyright date. <clears throat> uh, serial number on the bottom is 3676. Uh, if we can find the tooling number. Uh, it's there, but it's so small. 185? <clears throat> so 185. It's a beefy casting. I'll have to get it in a police livery because they did put it out in, uh, in you know, for a police car as well. Uh, there's no opening hood or anything on this one. We get just painted details for the taillights, painted details for the headlights. No opening features at all, but it's a beefy casting. It's all metal. Pretty detailed interior for what it looks like. And again, they have released this as a police vehicle as well, law enforcement vehicle with the light bar and all of that good stuff. So you can collect kind of two different versions of the tooling. Uh, there may be more that I'm not aware of. I'm not really sure, but it's a nice basic truck. Um, I'm going to say I'm not a big fan of the actual styling of it. I don't think it's a... Like the real truck, I should say. I don't think it looks all that great. But this is a really good model of it. And I think this will be desirable later on. And the reason is, is because it's a basic, you know, everyday vehicle that you'll see on the road. And it's a nice stock, clean example of it. <clears throat> and I always go for that with Greenlight. I always try to get some sort of real stock looking, something you're going to see on the road type of thing. So some, in the future, for some reason, these cars, well, probably because they're just everyday vehicles, and not that many people get excited about them when they come out, but later on, um, sometimes they get desirable. These can end up being desirable toolings. So, anyway, I like it. <coughs> it's cool. Um, even though I don't really care for the real truck. Um, all right. 1969 Ford Club Wagon in the uh, City Police Emergency. Interesting. Uh, this is a hobby exclusive line. So these are sold in straight packs to hobby dealers. Um, I believe my buddy Die Castrum got this one for me. This one's uh, copyright date 2020. I'm pretty sure it came out in 2021. <clears throat> Greenlight did a real good job with this tooling. I thought so anyway. It's a sweet van. Emergency. So I had to get like the sort of, I guess, police version of it. City police. What city? I don't know. Uh, what does it say on here? Is there anything? Maximum cargo security and for transporting prisoners. Interesting. So there is some, some details on the back of the card here. They're kind of neat. <coughs> uh, tooling wise, we get... Well, an inserted grill piece that makes up the bumper and all that good stuff, and also a separate bumper piece in the back. We got some weird paint flaw back here. That's a little unfortunate. White interior. <clears throat> Blue blueberry on top. Yeah, pretty basic little van. I'm not that excited about this one, really. I do like this tooling, though. Um, <clears throat> 2689 and tooling number 178. <clears throat> 
not too bad. And all right, so uh, sticking with vans for a moment, uh, we'll go to the next one. This is uh, the 60th, uh, what is it? 60th 500 GMC Vandura uh, for the 60th uh, Indy 500. <clears throat> I thought this one looked pretty cool. The GMC Vandura, another really cool casting from, from Greenlight. <clears throat> and this is a cool version of it. I like that on the side there. Transportation. That's what these things do. They're for transportation. Uh, wheels and tires look cool. Uh, they did a whole like Indy 500 kind of like little series that were all hobby exclusives. This was a hobby exclusive. Uh, 1960 is the serial number on the bottom. And uh, the 133, I think, on the base. <clears throat> Not too bad. You know, basic looking van. And they've done a lot of really cool versions of it, so... I don't have every one, but I do have, I think, quite a few of them. I don't think there's too many I'm missing. All right, so we have three cars left here for this 10-car Tuesday special. Uh, vintage ad cars. <clears throat> 1977 Jeep CJ5 Golden Eagle. I apologize for the constant throat clearing here. I It is so dry down here. We are at 30% humidity in this room right now. 66 degrees. And we just dumped the Jeep on its side. This is from the Vintage Ad Car Series. Another really nice series from Greenlight. It's series 2. Um, it's a fairly new series. And I think this is the latest. Well, it's maybe the second to latest. Whatever. It's recent. 2020-ish. We got a little tires falling off the rim here on the spare. We don't want that. Ooh, that was a little nerve wracking trying to fix that. We got her done. Top feels like it should come off, but it it pro probably does. But I'm not sure. I want to rip it off of here, but I think you can, and it'll become a convertible convertible or top top off Jeep. Decent tooling. This thing's got inserted details for headlights and painted details for taillights. Uh, 3901 is our serial number. Uh, 125 tooling number is what it looks like. <clears throat> and I try to get an example of every single tooling from Greenlight. And I thought this was a nice looking one, so I would get I thought I'd get this example for for this particular tooling. And that's the thing, when when I've said this multiple times in multiple videos, it's just that when Greenlight does come out with a brand new tooling, you know they're gonna release it like six hundred times, almost at, at like six hundred times in the first year of it being out. So just relax. Get the one you want, because you know, eventually one's gonna come out that you that you will really like. And then just get that one if you only want it one. Otherwise, if you like the casting, you got a lot to collect. And that can be fun, too. <clears throat> so, there's that. This is from the same series, the Vintage Ad Car series. This is Series 4. So, this, I think, is actually... Well, I don't know. Is it the latest series? There probably is more by now. But this is the 1979 Ford LTD sedan. Now, I think they did put this out... I believe this was also put out as a police vehicle... And I think I might actually have it. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I had to get this one. Again, just a nice basic car. <clears throat> Copyright date 2020 on the tooling. 949 is the serial number. And 199 is the tooling number. And there she is. Again, just a nice basic car. Got painted details up front. It's a separate front, little front clip or whatever. So I think they can change this out to make different years. There is no opening features on this. This thing is missing a license plate. You're going to get pulled over, buddy. And then uh, 
inserted details for the taillights. So pretty solid tooling all around. <clears throat> but definitely, you know, interesting to look at tooling to tooling for green light to see what they do with different stuff. So far, we only have two that actually had an opening feature. That was these two right here. This one's definitely the best. Um, and then, you know, ones that we don't have any opening features for and ones that actually have like an inserted detail for like taillights some that have some that don't this one has an inserted details for headlights so it's kind of interesting how they do mix it up they don't have like one straight philosophy for exactly how they make toolings and i don't know i like that and i don't like that i don't know i i think i do like that because it allows them to do a bunch of different vehicles if they don't have as many rules i guess All the uh, white lines on the tires look pretty good. Even this one, actually, if we try to fix it, it's just a little bit off the rim. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. This one's a little wonky. And that's a common issue. But, uh, yeah. Cool car. Nice bland color. Pretty sweet. All right. Lastly, the 1987 GMC Jimmy in the All-Terrain series. This is another series that I do like from Greenlight. Um, all usually like off-road trucks and stuff like that. And usually they do a really good job uh, making them like kind of stock paint jobs, but kind of souped up stock paint jobs, like options you might have had at the factory that would have cost extra money. And this one's got a rubber band on it, so you carded collectors, just rip this, rip them open, get this dang rubber band out of here before it causes damage to the paint. That means that that's removable. And then we got a spare tire in the back, that's cool. And here's our GMC Jimmy. Square body. So, <clears throat> it looks pretty cool. Does this one have an opening hood? It does not. And there's the lift kit on it. So obviously, you know, this tooling's available on stock ride height. Um, it's been released actually quite a few times. Um, I don't see a serial number on the bottom of this. I know it's probably there somewhere. Tooling number's kind of hidden, I think. And I think it's hidden by the lift. Oh, no, it's not. There it is right there, 166. And we got a little bit of a wonky wheel action here. That's definitely fixable if I play with that. <clears throat> the color is really nice in this one. It's like a metal flake, dark bluish green. Very cool model. All right, that's it for 10 Cartoons Day. I think we made this one way longer than it needed to be. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, though. Um, Ten Car Tuesday is not back. I swear it's not back. I'm not going to do it every single Tuesday. But when I do have like 10 cars I want to open, I might as well make a 10 Car Tuesday episode. Um, we used to do this every single week on this channel. I will throw those into the 10 Car Tuesday playlist. So if you want to go back and see what else we've done in the past, uh, go ahead and check out the playlist. And uh, you might enjoy that. Yeah, all the playlists on my channel. I mean, it's pretty organized. So fairly organized so if you like one type of video it's easier to easy to find other ones this is definitely my tooling of the of the show i just love this tooling so much anyway you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you guys very much for watching and have yourself a good day